Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today I want to talk to you about the nine signs that your partner does not or no longer wants to be exclusive. Stay tuned. All right, family, thank you so much for coming back. So the first sign that I have for you that your partner no longer wants to be exclusive is that he or she stops making you a priority as well as the relationship. They no longer want to hang out with you. All of those calls, texts, emails of making plans to make sure that you guys see one another have now gone obsolete. They are no longer there, just nothing about them. Or they say that they're going to meet you at a certain time. They either stand you up or they just come hours later. And the sad thing about it is, honey, you're still sitting there waiting on them hours later. No. <laughs> so that's the first sign that they have started to not make your relationship a priority as well as yourself. The second huge sign, sis and brother, they no longer want to be exclusive with you is that they tell you the infamous line that it's okay for you to date other people. Or they mentioned, let's have an open relationship. Now, I know some people can argue with me about the open relationship thing, but this is my opinion because this is my channel, okay? No, no, no. And truth be told, in those open relationships, guess what? Somebody usually ends up cheating even further and it, 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 it's a recipe for disaster. How about that? We're going to move on because this ain't that type of video. So the second thing to be aware of, as already mentioned, is that your guy or your girl says that it's okay to date other people. That is a sure sign that they no longer want to be exclusive with you. Number three. The third thing to be aware of is that they hardly ever spend any more time with you. Like before, where you guys used to always be in each other's space, always in each other's company. Again, the calls, the emails, the texts was on point all the time, all day long. Now, all of a sudden, they have now become or are starting to become obsolete. Nothing about them is saying that they still want this thing to occur on a regular basis with you. Number four, number four, number four. Yes, number four to consider is that they stop being intimate with you. Now, this is something if you guys have already had a good sex life or your um, cuddling, the kisses, the hugs, all of that stuff. If that was a part of your relationship and now it has slowed down or I just come to an ultimate stop, like no more, that is a sign. Yeah. That's a sign that he no longer or she no longer wants to be exclusive with you. Again, for that one, you have to really look at how your relationship was built. Were you two the lovey-dovey type of couple? If not, then that one can kind of, you know, can be on the fence. Also, think about if your partner has a low sex drive. If they have a low sex drive, then this one probably does not occur or is uh, relatable to you in your relationship. And so let's talk about the sex drive just, just for a little bit. I will have to say that most people, most of us get, that get into these relationships, guess what? Something that you need to be aware of. This is a bonus. This is not even in my notes, okay? So the bonus for this is that most people, two people are in the relationship, right? And guess what? One person usually wants sex way more than the other person. I don't know why this is. <laughs> Maybe I need to do the research on that. Anywho, but the more and more that I'm researching and just talking to couples and there's always one person in that relationship that wants to have sex way more than your partner. So could be a low sex drive thing, but again, getting back to this topic and them not wanting to be exclusive with you, think about what you are and how you are. Well, I should say you and your spouse are or partner, mate, whatever are in your particular relationship. So number four is definitely think about your relationship before you go off of that. The fifth one is definitely a sign too. Now let's go on the opposite side. If, if your relationship or if you guys chemistry is always there and the sex is good, this will be the only time you start to see homeboy or home girl. 
Because guess what? They haven't found or cannot find somebody that they like to be intimate with sexually in the bed that's actually satisfying them and you are that person. However, when that time is over, they no longer want to stay and cuddle, cuddle and have talks and drink and watch movies and all that stuff. No, they are now putting on their clothes because the deed has been done. They have been satisfied and now they can move on to occurring, um, um, excuse me, now they can move on to living their life again outside of your presence. Maybe they have not found anybody that they want to sleep with or, you know, they're not necessarily uh, ready to move on at least sexually from you. They're still attached in that manner or they're just being plain old selfish, okay? <laughs> they know they don't want you like that any longer, but they don't want this thing to slow down and actually and absolutely come to a screeching halt when it comes to having sex because they're not really ready to go back out there and find somebody else new so you are still fulfilling that need for now so you're only seeing when this when it's time to hit those sheets and that does not matter what time of day it is because a lot of people like to say at night no whenever if they're only coming through and the only time you guys are really connected is when it's time to hit the sheets whatever time of day that is and then all of a sudden they get all of these things in the world to do mm -mm. they don't want to be exclusive with you no longer they have yet to man up or woman up and actually verbalize it to you but really really they already gone the relationship is really already over number six guess what they have now ghosted you for long periods of time or even days, sometimes even weeks. Something grand came up where their phone died and they couldn't get to a cell phone or anybody's phone out there to contact to to contact you to let you know that they're okay and also you know what when are we going to spend more time together? There is none of that because they just don't care any longer. They don't care, which is why they're acting the way that they're acting. They're really hoping that you are the one to break us up. So then I can say, if, if you know, if I decide that I'm going to come back to you, then I can say, well, you broke up with me. But you were shady the whole time. You were shady the whole time, but now you're trying to put it on me. No, sir. No, ma'am. Number seven. Guess what? They stop talking about the future. Like if they, if you guys were doing really, really good and they start bringing up future talks about, you know, either a wedding or going to visit, like vacations, whatever it is, they stop bringing all that stuff up or they have never mentioned it from the beginning. Mm -mm. They don't want to be exclusive with you. They don't want to take it to the next level with you. They really want this to be over. And it could be like this very subtle things just adding up adding up and everything is just starting to chip away chip away chip away chip away and then all of a sudden you heartbroken because you don't know what happened but a lot of it is because you don't want to see the signs that are in your face so you don't want to accept them yeah no future talks no exclusivity trust me number eight they stop including you in their plans. You know how they used to call you all the time or text you all the time, I'm gonna be here, meet me here, let's do this. All of a sudden they meet their friends or their family and you are no longer included in the plans. Used to be there all the time. Y'all were Siamese twins. Yeah, I said Siamese, y'all were Siamese twins. Now all of a sudden, y'all singles. <laughs> As in a single person is a single person. <laughs> Y'all no longer stuck at the hip. Y'all ain't signing these twins no more. Wherever you were, you knew the other person was there. Your mate, your partner, your spouse. Mm -mm. All that's done and over with, sis. All that's done and over with, bruh. The ninth and final thing that the person is going to do and when they do they just no longer want to be exclusive with you and only you is that they are now going to be super disrespectful with your time, with your feelings, and even your sex. Nothing about y'all relationship is going to be the same when the person does not want to be exclusive with you any longer. It's just going to fall by the wayside. You're going to be wondering what's happening, but it's because you're not really paying attention to the signs or 
you're not addressing the issues that need to be addressed and now the gap is just get wider and wider and wider the space between you guys you're over here they're over there y'all starting to do your own thing like i said one of y'all really want the other person to end it that way y'all can move on with life or you're being selfish because y'all have moved in together and now the bills are intermingled and now you're just being selfish. Like, I don't want to go out there in this world and pay all them bills by myself. I don't want to have to search for an apartment or a house or whatever. Some type of selfishness in there. So you're just going alone, miserable with the flow. So deal with your stuff, bruh. Deal with your stuff, sis. Recognize the signs while they are in front of you. Take those rose-colored glasses off. Stop seeing what you want to see and see what's actually there. You will be a lot happier, a lot healthier, and a lot more sane. All right? Take these things into consideration because what we're trying to do here at I Love Me 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 is decrease the divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I love you guys. There's nothing that you can do. Deuces.